And, Senator, there's nothing that you've said that all of us haven't felt. So I appreciate your comments. But I also would like to mention that I think one of the most important things right now that we can do is to look at the big picture. And as you look at the big picture in public education, one of the reasons that your teachers and my teachers and Senator Huffman's teachers and Senator West's teachers are all looking at pink slips is because it's 45 days before the end of the year. We haven't made a decision in this body yet on our budget. They will see a new day when the budget passes, which we hope will be our version of the education budget. And I think you'll see fewer and fewer of those pink slips that go to, to rea reality. But the most frustrating part for me is that we have a committee substitute to Senate Bill 12 now that actually puts in play furloughs, decreases in salary, and other options that they will not have to fire their teachers. And I cannot get that bill off the floor of the Senate. This is a, is a shame. This is a shame and it's a sad day for Texas because we're trying to help the school teachers of Texas. We're trying to help the school districts of Texas and we're not able to do that right now. So let's not talk about pink slips when we're not willing to take the hard vote on helping those teachers from losing their jobs. Thank you. And, and Senator, with, with all due respect, I only brought up Senate 22 because that is, Senator Ogden asked me to give an example and that's what we're funding. And we do make decisions and choices. But even if we pass Senate Bill 12, the heart, that would help in further years. But what I'm telling you is that they have done everything they can. And my school district has told me they don't want to use a reduction in payroll. They don't want to reduce teacher salaries. They want the flexibility to kind of do what they need at the local level. And so what they have done with those pink slips is how they have chosen and they, they have chosen to do that because that's what they feel, and it's on the Senate version. They will, the board said they will not support a, pay, a, 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 a reduction in payroll. And they said they cannot, if they did a furlough, they would only be able, that means a reduction in payroll. When you furlough people, that means that you don't pay them. And my I, school I know what it, I'm very well aware of what it means. Right. And so my but school district cut. doesn't want to. Well, then they don't have to. But everybody else that we talk to does want that option. The teachers want the option. If they go to their teachers and ask them, would you rather be fired or would you rather have everyone take a 1% pay cut for two years? Or would you rather have some furlough days where you don't get paid? If you went out and you talked to those teachers you would find that that is what they prefer. They don't want to be fired. But when you bring up the pink slips and you bring up the amount of money that we're spending and you talk about the teachers and the classroom, we've got to, be, we've got to make sure that everybody understands fully the reason those pink slips are going out right now is because we have not passed a budget, which we must do, and we have not given them other tools in the toolbox rather than just rifts, firing their teachers. I cannot imagine any school district that would actually say at the end of the day, I'd rather fire teachers than give them other options with which they can utilize other tools. That's very, very unusual in the state of Texas today. Thank you, Senator. I know that you've worked hard Thank on that. You. I'm just was trying to make a point on enrollment growth. Thank you very much. Mr. President. 